Welcome to Just Forex Trades. Uh, my name is Ian. Uh, this is a bit of an early video uh, because it's the uh, Easter weekend. Um, the markets are a bit more liquid on Good Friday and Easter Monday, and I'm taking uh, Tuesday off as well. So I just wanted to get this video out ahead of time. So uh, the week of April 3rd to 7th, I took two trades. Um, both on Euro, Euro US dollar. Um, in theory, it should have been one trade, but I got out of um, the first trade and then got back in again. So I'll just very quickly go over uh, the same kind of format in the last videos. We're bullish on the daily, nothing's changed, and it looks like we're still pushing towards that daily high. So my bias um, based on the daily was uh, long trades. So going into the four hour chart, um yeah this is monday the third of april down here so we had come up towards this four hour high um didn't take it um pushed back down again and then started to push up higher and if you look here we have this down this very small demand zone but it's there uh, where we had this down candle and then this bullish Green candle, it did wick the high. So this was a bit of a, a riskier trade and we're quite high in the leg, but I still thought Euro, Euro, Euro US dollar was gonna eventually come and break this four hour high. So going into the 15 minute, again, we're in we're in replay mode here. This is what it looked like um, on Tuesday. So we had, um, if you remember, or sorry, this is, this is uh, AM on Monday, Monday night, so over the Asian session, we had a change of character. So we're now bullish on the 15 minute. So that ticks my first rule. Um, and you can see that we're pushing up on the 15 minute and then we started to form this 15 minute demand chain um, inside, inside that four hour, I've got it dragged over here, but inside this four hour demand. So we've got four hour demand and we have, fifth, see this 15 minute demand, this 15 minute demand, um, starting to form this chain so this was my 15 minute demand zone that I was looking to take a trade from. So you can see here with this green and red box, this is my entry. Um, I'm gonna just, I'd love to go bar by bar, but my computer slows down when I do that. So I'm just gonna X out and we'll see what happened. And I'll just cover the two trades here uh, in one. So it's gonna be a nice short video. So you can see price came down, tapped into that 15 minute demand zone and then pushed all the way up. So I was in, go to ORR here and uh, I scaled out of the trade. Um, the week before, there was a lot of news. There's non-farm again uh, today. Um, I think there was CPI on Wednesday for US dollar. So got to be cautious around news, even on the 15 minute time frame. Um, you know, down on the one minute, you can get whip whipsawed out of trades very quickly. So I don't trade one minute. 15 minutes, a lot more stable. But anyway, the trade pushed up here and you can see we started to move sideways over the Asian session, build up, build a liquidity. I was hoping that that would sweep and then go, but it continued down. So again, I, I think I partialed over here and then I partialed here when it looked like we were going to continue back down. But ultimately, what it was doing was coming down to this 15 minute demand and still respecting it. But I... Again, trade management, I moved my stop to break even and I got stopped out. But what I saw happen here was, again, we had the 15 minutes um, put in a change of character. This high was broken. So just very quickly, if I draw uh, this down like this, we have this break. So this is a bullish intentions, again, clear in the market. Um, and when you look, so this is the change of character. When you look down here, we have this demand zone, this little red candle, but that's gonna act as liquidity for uh, demand zone lower. So it's likely to get swept. Um, and then this was it. So I mapped out this 15 minute demand zone, put my entry above it, and then I put my stop below because the price could have pushed down to mitigate something deeper. And ultimately it came down, tapped into that 15, actually tapped in, went up, wicked this high, and then came all the way back down, swept this all the liquidity here and then drove back up again um and i knew i wasn't going to be on the markets much today um, so i closed out up here so i took a nice trade on that so let's just quickly bring up the screenshots and um, just to verify 
all of that so this was the first entry uh, you can see about half one on the 4th of April partials um, so you can see this is IC markets live account and then um, that was that trade yeah completed so you can see I partialed here partialed here partialed here and then I actually closed out for a slight loss on the last piece because I, I wanted to try let it run um, and then you can see I subsequently got into the next trade here where I have my position open on my stop loss and take profit so um, I'm showing ice markets here and I'm also showing um, uh, an FTMO account so if you're aware of FTMO they're a funding company um, so I've just shown that I'm I use a trade copier that you know I, I take trades on my master account and my slave account takes the same trades so that was that first trade just captured an FTMO just to show you that um, so this is all the trades for the week so you can see uh, the week of the 3rd to the 7th of April all euro US dollar um, and a number of trades on, on the first trade and then here's the second trade so I, I parceled out here parceled out here at the top and it started to move sideways but I'm I'm out of the market for the, for the next few days so that's the trade um, and that was the week again same process rinse and repeat over and over and try and be consistent I have a lot of work to do personally on my trade management uh, trying to let trades run a bit longer um, so it's always a journey and you're always a student of the market anyway thanks again and uh, I'll be back next week it's a shorter week um, I'm off on Tuesday, but if I do see a trade set up, I'll, I'll take it. So hopefully we have a video uh, for the end of the next week as well. Thanks very much.